And he says in this passage, he talks about it in, um, he says, like a dream when one awakes. O Lord, when aroused, you will despise their form. When my heart was embittered, I was pierced within. Then I was sen senseless and ignorant. I was like a beast before you. He was saying here in this passage that when you, when you look into the Word of God, when you can tell what's going on in the bigger picture, the Bible says that all things work together for the good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. And he tells us in verse 18, if, when we see the bigger picture, we know what's going to happen in people's lives. And he's also saying in the bigger picture this, and please hear this. He's saying, I have a sovereign, all-powerful, all-knowing God. Obviously, he's going to do things that I don't understand. Now, think about that for just a moment. Who are we to think that we are, we're not sovereign. We know that. We're not all-knowing. Wow, we barely know what's going on here in the building, much less outside. But we have an all-knowing, all-sovereign God who's all-powerful. Obviously, he's going to do things. He's so above us in understanding and thinking and intellect that obviously he's going to do things that I don't understand. That's the big picture. He says in the, in the big picture of things, it's us that's going to be blessed. Then I want you to notice, lastly, you reposition your foot. Look in verse 23. <coughs> Nevertheless, he says, I was angry with you. I was like a beast. I was embittered. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. He says, I'm never going to be alone because you're here. You've taken hold of my right hand. You are protecting me. You're holding me up. He says, with your counsel, you will guide me. He says, I've got the wisdom of God. What we talked about last week. I've got the guidance and the wisdom of God. And afterward, receive me unto glory. He's saying, when this life is done, I'm going to be in heaven. And he realizes that the, the worst hell he will ever know is right here on earth. Because he's looking forward to heaven. But the best heaven that those who don't follow Christ will ever know is right here on earth as well. 